Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are up 219. You get the Nasdaq down 30. S&Ps are up three and a half. Uh, our guest today, folks, is Bill Lettera. Bill is the chairman and CEO of iSocrates. Now, check this out. This is pretty cool. Uh, Bill's a former Wall Street uh, head of research and portfolio manager. Uh, and the, when the, in the 1990s, folks, uh, bottom line, uh, Bill started art.com. Uh, when uh, Jeff Bezos was uh, out there with uh, Amazon and uh, the bottom line, Getty Images bought it. Uh, Bill's got a new company. It's iSocrates. Bill, welcome to TFNN. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Uh, good. A little bit hot and humid here in uh, in Florida, but we're doing okay. And we're glad you're in St. Pete, man. We're definitely glad you're in St. Pete. So, hey, so tell us exactly what this company is. Yeah, you bet. Happy to do so. So uh, Isocrates began uh, life a little over six years ago. Uh, we work in the digital media and marketing industry. Uh, started out doing some pretty high-end consulting work around uh, strategy and operations. And oh, about 90 minutes into our first major consulting assignment, it became pretty clear that companies were having difficulty executing with all these uh, literally thousands of platforms that they have to work with. And uh, didn't take long for us to figure out, gee, there's an opportunity here. In addition to the consulting, maybe we should be uh, doing hands-on execution, letting them outsource uh, to us and where we can run mission critical applications for them in, uh, in media and marketing. Publishers, marketers, agencies, different data and tech companies. Okay. And we do, we're headquartered in St. Pete, but it's a global business today. And we've got clients around the world. Uh, we've taken those services that we've been providing and uh, learn where the gaps are in the technology. And so like many companies, we are evolving a SaaS solution to go with our services. So like if, some, if a large company wants to advertise, would they, would they basically hire in you so that you could figure out what these different platforms are doing and, and just what type of, type of return on investment they could get? Is that what we're talking? Yeah, and we're hands-on keyboard actually planning and buying, or in the case of media companies, selling, doing the the uh, monetization for them. Okay. Reporting and analytics, uh, data science, all, all that runs 24 hours a day, seven days a week in our operations. Yeah, it. You know, this business has come so far; it's really intriguing. And uh, large companies, you'd be really surprised, folks. Large companies spending a huge amount of money that they really don't understand. Uh, <laughs> it kind of how this works and the advertising companies have everything to gain and zero to lose uh, by just saying okay you got this many hits I mean years ago Bill I used to own radio stations and Arbitron used to drive me crazy because I'd be saying to myself this is amazing that a large company would just buy this buy based on you know a certain amount but I, I've seen it in where we are right now, I, I still see. I still see it. I actually got a, a spreadsheet because we do a lot with a, a couple of big advertising firms, and they sent me a spreadsheet one day that they never should have sent me, and it was like I thought I was seeing things, man. I mean, and what it was, it was supposedly the number of hits that these large companies were getting, but if anyone ever drilled down to it, they'd realize that this is not what they need, and more than likely, that's what you're, you're digging into. Yeah, you know. we, I mean, the, the reality is that not only is there a lot of waste in the system, but increasingly, particularly in this economy, it's hard to find the, the staff that's sophisticated, understands, that's affordable uh, and available. And, yes. Uh, we've been able to fill that hole, fortunately. So businesses has been very good and it has allowed us to be able to reinvest in building our own technology. So after having been a professional services company for so long, uh, we we have begun to build MadTech BI, which is our SaaS platform. And very fortunately for us, all of our uh, services clients have taken the platform and now other new clients who've never been services clients are taking it. So we're, we're benefiting from uh, a lot of learning here and um, on our way to building a, a, a nice growth company. It's a great name, man. Mad Tech. <laughs> That's definitely a great name. So, uh, what level, company-wise, like with gross numbers, would be your client? Is it five million, ten million, twenty million, one million? Where, where are we at in that? 
typically when they're on the buy side, it's going to be companies that have over a million dollars a year or over over a hundred thousand dollars a month to spend yes. on, on digital media and marketing. But since you're from the radio business, you might remember Entercom. Oh Intercom, yeah. CBS News, they are a longtime customer for us. Uh, gosh, probably going on almost five years already. Yeah. Do uh, work for them and a lot of other uh, big businesses that you know. But it, it can be it can be a smaller company. I think the big thing is if you're looking for full transparency, lower costs, um, very significant accountability, we're, we're the right people to go with. If you're looking for uh, a full service agency, um, and you really don't want to know more about what's going on, we're probably not the right fit. Right. Where do you feel the most amount of advertising fraud is in the business? <laughs> that's it, a, I know. That's a, I'm not putting you on the spot because I know it's not close to what you do, okay? But it, we both well, know that it's like, oh, my God. It's like it's, sometimes I'm, I'm trying to figure it out myself. Do you know what I mean? Absolutely. So first of all, there's fraud in, in uh, many ways. I'm a graduate school professor in this subject matter, and I definitely share this with my students every semester. I love it. This is a definitely a business where caveat emptor, you want to trust but verify every step along the way throughout the ecosystem because there's plenty of fraud. I think that probably the biggest fraud from a dollar standpoint is going to be in the ad inventory itself. Um, okay. what, what advertisers believe uh, they're they're uh, buying, but actually what is not being delivered. But yes. simply, okay. it can also happen where the publishers are getting shortchanged themselves. Overall, what I would suggest is I'm not familiar with another commodity industry where there where fraud is a bigger factor. And I'm, I'm going to call it flat out. This is a commodity industry. Right. These are companies that are being bought and sold and increasingly in auction based uh, transactions just like financial services uh, evolved to uh, basically from May 1st of 1975 with the onset of, com of um, negotiated uh, commissions uh, yep. at the New York Stock Exchange. Um, and that was really the beginning of loosening up of the market. In the same way, electronic real-time auctions have come to advertising inventory. Um, and, and we're seeing the same kinds of challenges, but in a very short, uh, much more uh, compressed period of time. And in that activity, with hundreds of billions of dollars being transacted uh, in auctions going forward, there's plenty of fraud. So this is not a place for the timid. And um, you, you really, it requires constant uh, observation and um, uh, clients they, they need to know what's going on. And you know what's so cool? When clients do know what's going on, folks, okay, it's awesome. Because if they're educated, I can tell you from me trying to sell them advertising, it's much easier. When they're not, it's a real problem, man. I mean, because they can say to me, I've got this many, I, you know, and I, what I can't say to them is, hey, man, you better go check it again because I know you don't have this many. Meaning, you know, and, and that conversation is very hard when I'm on the selling end of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't think it's just so it's what it's worth. I don't think it's just that it's going to be the unification of all those things because there's a lot of platforms involved. This is a complex industry. No, there's no doubt. Well, listen, this has been a pleasure. Appreciate the update. Appreciate the education. I'd love to have you on again, Bill. Great. Thanks so much. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Yep. Good Stay right there, folks. Come right back.